Hey, Trudy. I just saw you over at Barbara's. Jax. Can you hear the hail? Look if I can show you. to get here was starting to flood. They had the police there, so I'm gonna have to go home a different way. I thought that sound, yeah, it is hail, but I'm crocheting. Oh, my poor chicken yard, it's gonna be a lake again. I was looking at my phone this morning the weather and the phone was saying like between 9 and 9 30 we were supposed to get rain and we didn't so I thought it was safe to come out and it's 1204 now I know I got those um, I got my chicken yard fake crocs on they have no traction on the bottom. There's thunder. Can you hear the thunder? I don't know how long this is going to go on for. But it's better just to wait here because, well, I can't get out. And then driving is going to be terrible because I'm right near a high school. This Kroger, a high school is right over there. And those kids, they leave for lunch. And um, a lot of them drive to places, like fast food places. And I don't wanna be on the road in this weather with them driving. Make sure I shut my lights off. My chickens, they'll go in the coop, but um, their food is going to be no good. Their food is outside. And... Oh, it sounds like it's slowing down, but you never know. I'd rather be stranded out here than in the store, even. In there, you'd be buying snacks and things that you don't need just because you, you can't get out of there. It's really coming down. I need to get an umbrella. I have one at home, but I need to get one to keep in the car. I have an earache, earache, I mean, this ear, my left ear, it started a couple days ago, and today it's bad. Don't oh, lightning. Yep, I'll have to go home a different way. Oh, thunder. It's that time of year for Texas. But thank God for every drop of rain, because you know how our lakes get in the summer. Don't wanna be in another drought. Um, yesterday, 
I went up behind Walmart on that road looking for that van and I didn't see him. Oh. I had bought him some little um, containers of applesauce and I bought him a package of wipes and two bottles of water again. Oh, I'm not driving. Oh, you're driving. Oh, <laughs> I, wait, now wait a minute. Are you driving or you think I'm driving? I'm not driving. I'm parked here in Kroger parking lot and I may need a boat to get out by the time it's all over with. I think you're driving. Oh, Mary Ann. Um, now I need the bathroom. <laughs> <coughs> Mary Ann, I talked to my friends, um, well, texted yesterday afternoon, my friends that live there in North Carolina. Um, now where do they live? Oh boy. Can you believe it? I completely forgot where they live and I was there. Oh man. I can't remember. I have friends in Matthews, North Carolina. But my other friends that I stayed with, where did they live? I can't believe that I forgot. Oh. Every now and then I get that sharp pain in that ear. Oh. Oh, she in, in the car. Oh, you're driving to work. Okay, be safe. I think they live in Winston, North Carolina. Oh, Winston-Salem. Yep. Well, I texted with them yesterday, Marion. Even people with umbrellas are having a hard time because it's windy. You know, the other day we were under a tornado watch. Here comes the hail again. crochet in the scrubby. I know some people have a hard time with the scrubby yarn. I'm, I love the red heart scrubby. I don't have any problem with it. I'm using a G hook and I don't have a cotton mixed in with it. It's just the regular um, red heart. It's so expensive now. So the road that I I took to get here is um oh, excuse me. Let me see if I can explain it. We have the main road like this, over there, and then this road that cuts over to come here. But when you're on the main road and you cut over this other road to get here, there's a little bit of an incline. It's not really a hill, just a little incline. So all the water is going down that incline 
back and it's starting to flood over there. That's why I had, they had the police over there. They're going to end up, uh, I'm sure, blocking it off. So when I leave here, I'll have to go that way. I hope Miss Kitty is under the trailer or in that little tote with her blankets. The only one that's going to be out in this weather is going to be Esther. Esther will be out and she'll be more than happy. just said I don't have trouble with this guy. Well, I don't have trouble when I'm crocheting with it. This is, I got it tangled. It was my fault. Bad storm. There was hail a few minutes ago. Now let's see. And I forgot my umbrella. I will get another one and keep it in the car. sounding like it's slowing down and then then it starts up again. I don't want to get whacked in the head with hell. I have before. Alright, I got it. I got it untangled. if I can make it out. I wonder. This whole week has been rain. Off and on, mostly on.
wonder if I can make it out of here. I don't want to get soaked and go in the store. Soap. And I don't want to slip in that in this parking lot. I don't even have any dirty laundry in the car that I could um, grab a towel to put over me. All I have in here is a sweatshirt. Lightning. Thunder. Can you hear that? Texas gets some really bad storms. I think I'm just gonna have to get out and go. Chiquita. Chiquita. I'm trying to get inside Kroger. Yeah, Louisiana is not far away. Lightning. Tina. Can you believe that? Inappropriate content. Why is it inappropriate? What am I doing that's inappropriate? I don't get it. Did anyone else have that trouble? What's inappropriate? <laughs> Thunderstorms inappropriate? I don't know. Someone, that means somebody reported me? Why they want to report me crocheting in my car? during a thunderstorm. I can't figure that out. I thought that was nuts. It didn't do it the second time I came in. It must have been a glitch, like you said. You never know. This platform is free and so who knows what happens. A 
I think it's that lady's getting out of her car now. Oh, she's putting, well, she's putting groceries in her car. I think I better try to get in that store. Because I'm going to have to go home a different way. Because that, that little road was flooding. Oh. <sighs> And, I, you know, I get, I got to get home and check on, let's see, I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to have to put the chickens food, I'm going to have to give them new food, oh, my earache, and I'm going to have to put it in the coop. I don't really like to do that. Oh, no, well, I think I'm going to do that. I do have uh, some wood leaning down on the side of the coop for them to go in in the summer to get out of the sun. And usually I put food there if it's rainy, but my chicken yard is gonna be a lake, which means water will be there. So I'm gonna have to put their food in the coop. I can't help it if they go on a roosting bar and they poop and it goes in their food. I try not to put it under the roosting bar, but even them being in the coop and walking around, you know, I can only do so much. I, I can't sit in the coop with them. I'm already stuck in the storm. The more I think about it, it's getting later. I know, and I need the restroom. And um, yeah, they'll be fine. And Esther, she'll be out. Oh. <clears throat> um, like I say, I'm I'm thankful for every drop of rain. You know, as as long as it doesn't flood streets really bad and flood homes and things like that. But you know how our lakes get in the summer; they dry up so quick. So this will be great for the lakes. And for all the water towers that they've been building around. There's one over there, but that's not a new one. So I think I better get in there. I wish I could just sit here and talk to you all day and crochet. I'd probably take a nap in here. My umbrella's home. I'm going to get another umbrella and keep it in the car. This earache, it started about three days ago. And um, this morning when I got up, I could really feel it. We've had such windy, rainy, wet weather. And I'm constantly in and out, in and out, in and out. I guess my ear caught a cold. Hmm. Oh, I got a phone call this morning. Anyone still here? I got a phone call this morning. I was surprised. Um, was it yesterday I had, or the day before I had the um, diabetes doctor appointment? Let's see, Wednesday, it was Monday. Lunis. Um, the diabetes doctor said, talking about this um, apparatus, I'll call it, or device, she wants to put on my arm. It's not an insulin pump. It will check my sugar so I won't have to be sticking myself all the time. It will check my sugar and let me know when it's too low or too high. And so, because of my crazy insurance, which is Medicaid and Medicare, the government, um, 
she had to order this device from a supply company so that it would be covered by the insurance. And she said that the supply company would be calling to verify my address. And when it comes, um, I'll have to make an appointment with the PA and the PA will put it on me and explain everything. And this is um, just like a trial run to see how I like it. Well, I was surprised that the supply company called this morning to verify what they needed. And um, within three to five days, I should have it. And um, then I'll call my endocrinologist and get an appointment. Like I said, this is not an insulin pump. It's something that checks your insulin for you, your sugar for you, and then it lets you know, which I think is pretty neat. Now, when I stick myself to get my um, my blood sugar, I I always have to do it on my left hand because my left side has no coordination and no strength to hold the pen, the needle pen, to prick my right side. I don't have the coordination. So I always have to use my right hand, which is my dominant hand, and stick my left fingers. And I don't feel it because this side is totally numb from the neck down. But my fingers get real calloused, of course, because I'm always sticking them. So... Anyway, the doctor thinks that this will be easier to have this thing be reading my sugar. And um, she asked me if I'd be willing to try it, I think for three months or something. I said, I would, sure, I would try it. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I think I can make it. I'm going to have to walk like a duck or a goose so I don't fall. Because I just have on these fake Crocs. I saw some um, men's Crocs in Walmart. I don't believe they're like the real Crocs. These were, um, I think it said shark on it. They don't look like sharks, but I think I think the brand is shark. But they had like like a dark gray with with different shades of blue and gray running through it. Really nice. Um, now these red ones that I have on now are just for the chicken yard. I mean, I don't bring these in my house. Um, I wear them in the chicken yard. But I think I would like to get, I don't know how much those were at Walmart. Someone's alarm is going off next to me, car alarm. I think I would like to get a pair of those other ones from Walmart to wear like to the doctors, to the grocery store. Oh, because when I went to the um, diabetes doctor, <clears throat> they have you take off your shoes to check your feet they run a thing up the bottom of your foot to see if you can feel it and they just checked your feet over and I had on these Crocs I was a little embarrassed and I told the doctor oh you don't want to check my feet today because I just came from the chicken yard <laughs> she said I don't that she didn't care she of course had gloves on but I cared it's almost stopped now Oh, I'm missing. I can't have Crocs. I tried and I tripped. Okay, Marianne, thank you. Oh, they're so slick, aren't they? I don't remember the name of the thing tank. Oh, here comes the man whose car alarm is going off. They're having a big sale on water here. Um, I don't know how many bottles are in the case, but it's four cases for $10.
But like I said, it depends how many bottles are in a case. Oh, um, you know what? My shoe size depends on the shoe. I guess that's pretty normal, huh? Um, like chanclas that I wear around in the house, those are like a eight, eight and a half. And, and I have a couple pairs of dress shoes for church. One pair is a nine, I think, and the other is an eight, a whole inch difference. So I think it depends on the shoe. And these Crocs, I don't think I can, um, I don't, I think the size is worn off on the bottom. Cause these, yeah. Oh, but you know what? I have a measuring tape here in my bag where I was crocheting. But these are so worn. I mean, I've had these four or five years. I'm going to have to wait till I get back to Walmart and I'll, yeah, there's no, it's all worn off. And I'll have to try one of those on. Have you seen them? I, I think it says shark, shark on them. Well, now I got the door open, so I might as well, might as well get in there. Thanks so much for um, spending the storm with me in my car. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to look, Chiquita, because the chanclas and dress shoes and even penny loafers I have and Crocs, they all run different sizes. My foot don't change, but it depends what kind of shoe. So I'll, I'll have to look. Let's see, let's see. It was a fast response. Okay, everyone, I'm going to get in there. Okay. Thank you.